Iranian nationals are crossing the Texas border in numbers not seen in months, and it's raising the terror alert here on American soil. Several hundreds of miles of the Texas-Mexico border do not have fencing, which many say makes it too easy for migrants to cross. More than 101,000 migrants were encountered at the southern border in just September, bringing the total to more than 2 million for the 2023 fiscal year. News Nation's Allie Bradley joins us live from Eagle Pass there near the border. Allie, what can you tell us? Yeah, hey, Nicole, problems still persisting and actually continuing to get worse here in the Del Rio sector. We were actually around two different groups of over 100 people crossed into the sector this morning, all before 8 o'clock. So we were there when this group of 140 crossed into the Eagle Pass area. This is just outside of Shelby Park, where, of course, Governor Abbott has that basically fortified. This area is a private property that they're crossing onto. Now, in this group, mostly made up of Venezuelans, people from Honduras, and also people from the Dominican Republic. But there were 17 unaccompanied children also in that group. Now, yesterday, Texas DPS actually encountered three Iranian migrants in a group of 134 in that exact same area where we were standing in just last week in a group of 165. 14 special interest migrants from Iran, Egypt, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo were apprehended by Texas DPS and Border Patrol during that time. Now, migrants from special interest countries being encountered in the Del Rio sector, which is where we are, they're climbing fast. According to data obtained through sources, in August, there were 40, followed by 75 in September, now just 17 days into October. That number has already surpassed 180. That's double last month's total and more than 56% higher than August and September combined, something that law enforcement say is a concern. It baffles my mind how they're never prepared and it's always a knee-jerk reaction. Again, the big concern is the gotaways, as I've always said, and at the same time, a lot of these individuals, they're not carrying in any IDs. They're not in any database. So you pretty much have to take their word for it and uh, you deal with the vetting that you do have at your hands. It's just, it's very concerning all around. And I think a lot of this may be getting done because they're preparing for maybe a different administration. Now, these groups are oftentimes used as a distraction, and because several agents are responding, that leaves vulnerabilities on the line along the southern border. Sources say runners are breaking free from these groups. They're hiding throughout the neighborhoods before they're getting picked up and ending up in these smuggling loads. Now, several illegal immigrants did break free from this group that we were actually witnessing as well, Nicole, this morning. However, sources tell me that two of those individuals were apprehended by Border Patrol who went after them and got them. But Congress is saying, that over 2 million people have successfully evaded law enforcement over the last three and a half years. That's over 2 million gotaways that Congress is talking about, Nicole. Yeah, really high numbers there, Allie. So we know Governor Abbott yeah. has spent millions in Texas taxpayer dollars trying to secure the border under Operation Lone Star, but yet we are seeing these numbers. Are his efforts making an impact? Yeah, a lot of people focus on that, right? Because Governor Abbott has spent millions to basically close off Texas, but there are holes, there are areas that are not fortified. And unfortunately, despite all of those really extreme financial efforts, Texas is kind of becoming the path of least resistance once again for migrants, so to speak, because the cartel is controlling all of the movement. What is happening in Arizona and California right now? Well, the Sinaloa cartel is basically at war with itself, with each other, causing a lot of issues on the other side of Arizona and California. Again, the cartel needs to be able to move people and drugs freely, but if that infighting is happening, that is a more dangerous route now for the cartel to move people and things through. So as a result, many migrants are finding their way back to Texas at the hands of the cartel, who, of course, Art says controls the southern border, where the risks are comparatively lower here. Yes, they're contending with razor wire. Yes, they're contending with anti-climb barriers, but over there, they might be contending with RPGs and IEDs. That's what we've been reporting on in Arizona, Nicole. So the Del Rio sector, when it comes to special interest migrants, those are people who are coming from countries that don't necessarily play well with the U.S. We don't have access to their databases. They're going to require additional screening, additional interviews and vetting. We are just behind San Diego sector right now when it comes to special interest migrant encounters along the southern border. Nicole. All right, Allie Bradley left for us there in Eagle Pass. Allie, thank you.
Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.